Hello, welcome back. Um, I was uh, got a request to uh, install a Drupal uh, CMS uh, content management system on uh, CentOS uh, 6.5 uh, with a Postgres SQL database as a backend. Um, so we'll try going through this. This is going to be a little bit different format. I'm trying a little bit wider uh, screen with the SSH uh, connection to it, and hopefully this will make things a little bit better, a little bit easier, better quality. Um, so first off, let's uh, install the Postgres uh, SQL server. Okay, it looks like three packages. Say yes to that. Uh, next thing we want to do is actually initialize the database using the uh, service command. Initialize the database. Initializing it. Once that finishes up, we'll install the uh, web server Apache as well as the uh, mod SSL. Yes to that. And let's just see if any PHP uh, information is on here at all. And there's zero. So let's uh, install a bunch of those files. Okay, looks like that installed good. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, change over as, to the uh, Postgres user. Uh, put the space in a bash shell there. And we're going to create user. We're going to create the uh, Drupal user. A lot of prompt for pa <clears throat> password prompt. Scripted. Oh, might help if I spell right. Okay, so that's been uh, created. The user's been created. Now we're going to create a database. Uh, important to make sure that you do the encoding is the uh, UTF-8. And then the name of the, uh, the owner is going to be Drupal, the user was created, and the name of the database. So this is going to be Drupal. Okay, database has been created. Uh, what we do now is actually use WinSCP to uh, move over the, the files that I downloaded from the uh, Drupal website. There's the files. These also can be downloaded uh, to the uh, uh, client itself. Um, I just have it on Windows, so I'm just transferring it over that way. And then we're going to also, uh, for now, set the uh, change of settings uh, pretty wide open on this. Okay. Now let's check to make sure that they're there. There it is. And let's, uh, let's just rename it so that people don't know what version it is uh, by the URL. And... That looks good so far. I'm gonna clear the screen up here. Okay, welcome back. This uh, part here, we're going to uh, uh, start up the web server. And clear that out. And then this time, we're actually gonna get the, uh, go to Internet Explorer or Firefox, whatever you prefer. the Drupal directory and see what happens. Okay, we're going through the installation now. Um, here it says select installation profile. We're just going to say uh, uh, standard. Save and continue. Uh, English as a language. I believe you can set other languages as well. Save and continue. Uh, looking at this, it looks like the settings file does not exist. It says the Drupal installer requires this file as part of thing, copy the site's default settings file to settings.php. So we'll go back here, list real quick, change it to Drupal. 
Change directory to sites. Um, change directory to default. And there's the file. So all we got to do is just copy this file to just settings.php. Do a quick list of ATLR on there. And we're also going to uh, make this so that it's basically world writable. A quick check and that part looks good there so let's go back to the web and uh, refresh it um, past all the uh, requirements so that's a good sign uh, database name this is going to be the uh, database that we set up so it's going to be DRU PALDB username Drupal and then whatever password you put in when it asks you for it Save and continue. Okay, it says here that we have a uh, an error or that the server reports the following message. A lot of times, what this means is that the actual uh, database file doesn't know how to communicate, or there's some some settings in there. And what we need to do is actually make some changes to the uh, Postgres uh, config file, and uh, that should be in the var lib um, post. Our lib PG SQL. I was in the right place, just looking for something else different there. Uh, let's go into the data. PG HBA config, right there it is. PGHBA config. And here, what we need to do is change uh, the type from indent. On all of them to MD5. Okay. Now we might as well restart that service. Go back to our website. Uh, install. Unfortunately, put in the same information again. Save and continue. Okay, it's initializing. It's going through the steps here. So you can see some of the information that's going through. Okay, here it tells us a little uh, information, which is good. Um, basically tells us that all necessary changes to sites default and sites default settings PHP have been made, so you should remove write permissions to them now in order to avoid security risk. Um, and it does show you how to do that in the online thing. Um, if I have time, I'll, I'll try to put that at the end here as well. Uh, so the site email address. Now we're just going to make this test. Post. Post. Username. Test. Password. Make a password there. Again. And hit save and continue. And the installation is complete. And then just hit the view your new site. And there we are. And here you can do all your configuration, uh, set up your content, your structure, different modules. There's already some that are put in here. Um, and we can actually put your content real quick. Uh, update filter. Add content. You can go through and add uh, your information that you want. And we can say a basic page. Title. Hello. Here is a test. This is a test of the Drupal. And that's just it. And we can leave it as filtered HTML. Save. Okay, so there's, there it is. It's there. We can edit it and view it. Log out. There's no front page right now, but uh, there it is. It's installed.
Thanks, and uh, if you want to get some more information, you can get some more info at uh, info.bing14.net. Uh, this has been an install of Drupal 7 on uh, CentOS 6.5 with Postgres SQL Server as a backend. Thank you, and uh, please check back again. I'll be posting some more videos, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. If there's anything else you'd like me to work on or set up, I'd be more than glad to. Please uh, drop me a, a note or a comment, and I'll work on it. Thank you. Have a good night.